Uh, this is the original Davios, right here, 269 Newbury Street. This is where I started in 1985. I was 24 years old. And I, it's, it's, I gotta tell you, just being here to me, it just, it's pretty emotional. I, I just, I can't believe I'm, I'm, we're back here. Uh, so what it was, was downstairs was the upscale Davios, and then upstairs was the cafe. And after about 10 years, there was a barber shop to the left over here, and that went out of business, and we took that space over, so we gained like another 30 seats, uh, which was really nice for private functions. And that's when I kind of got into the private function business, and that helped a lot. Uh, and now we have, you know, a lot of function rooms in all our restaurants. You said opening that cafe, I know in your book, that really changed your business in the early Yeah, days. when we first started, you know, it was just basically downstairs, and then I started upstairs with pizza and pasta, and this was before, you know, gourmet pizza. I mean, there, were, there was not a lot of restaurants doing goat cheese pizza and sun-dried tomatoes and all, you know, it's just mid-80s, mid yeah. you know, it was kind of the beginning. Uh, it, you know, before Todd English, you know, we're yeah. talking before Petucci's, before Figs and all that, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, what happened was I had gone out to California and I went to Wolfgang Puck's restaurant, Spago. Okay. And that's when I saw a pizza and I was like, this is not my mom's pizza. Nothing against my mom's pizza, <laughs> but it was really different. And I kind of tried to do yeah. that and uh, it was really successful. It you, you said it was important to you with the 30th anniversary of Davio's coming up. It was important for you. You, you wanted to walk down here and see the old space. Yeah. Why, why is that? You know, because this is where I started, you know. I. People ask me all the time, do you miss being on Newburgh Street? And sure, we do more business today uh, in a day than we did in a week and maybe two weeks here. I mean, when I think about it, you know, I, but this is where I started. Yeah. This is where, you know, I, I was the chef, the general manager. I had 15 people in the company. Yeah. 15. Now I have a, over 800 people. You know, yeah. it's, a, it's a little different. We have seven, almost nine restaurants now. So this will always be in my heart. Uh, you know, I, I, I miss it. I miss being here. Just, just standing here, I start thinking yeah. about the first time I met Oprah Winfrey here. I met yeah. Mick Jagger here. I met Derek Jeter, Joe Torre. Uh, you know, I, uh, Robert Kraft is the first place I met Robert. Who wrote the Full Idea book and yeah. is now a good friend of yours. Yeah, so, you know, this really was the start for us, the beginning, and uh, I'll never forget it. And you were into Mick Jagger recently in Atlanta, I just, I right? I just saw him in Atlanta, and he, yeah. of course, came to Davos, Atlanta, and he said, how are we doing? He hadn't been to Davos in a while. And, uh, you know, he, it's here's Mick Jagger. Yeah. Like, remembers us. And, uh, he actually was really cool because he, when he came to the hotel, uh, he kind of took over the whole hotel and yep. took all the suites. And I usually Must get a room. Nice, they, took huh? my, they took my room and everything. <laughs> so he, he said to me, "Don't worry, mate. I'll make it up for you." you know? And he left me two beautiful seats, front row. So I got to go see him the next oh, night. Wow. So yeah, it was it was really nice. So I understand you once delivered dinner to Tom Brady. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Tom used to live a couple blocks from okay. here, right over on Borelsa Street, and uh, he would. You know, a lot of times he would come to the restaurant, but you know, it's really hard for him yeah, you know, to yeah. get out, especially with the young children, you know. Yeah. So, uh, you know, one night, actually it was two nights before the championship, AFC championship game, we brought him some food. And, yeah. Uh, he's very appreciative, and, you know, so he, he's a good friend. He's yeah. Great.